Hello, today I'm going to help you to update your GitHub profile page to make it more personalized and to make it uh, stand out. So basically when people visiting your uh, GitHub profile page, they find enough details about you and also uh, with the interactive interface and make them more engaged with your content. So as you see here, this is my GitHub uh, profile page and i'm going to help you today how to add something similar to this and also i will give you an idea so you can build up your own personalized content and add your own touch and also here you can see this on two different theme mode so recently also github introduced this dark theme and also you can disable this dark theme by pressing this icon so this is how it looks like in white theme uh, I prefer usually to use dark theme for ice contrast. So let's just go and start uh, showing you how to do this. So basically, uh, you need to just go directly to this plus and press here and uh, add new repository. So uh, here is the new repository. It has to be same as your uh, channel name. For example, my channel name is called Duenetic, which already as you see here. So just we need to create another repository with the same name, Duena Tick, and this will be uh, depend on your channel. As is mentioned here, the, they saying is already ex uh, ex available. So basically, I already have this repository. So just I'm going to show you how to create yourself. It has to be same as your channel name, and then select public, and on the end here, uh, also select add read me file this is important because this is the one that we are going uh, to add the content to it so after finishing this simply just press create repository as i mentioned i created this one already so after finish this step we'll go to read me file and start adding our content so after creating your uh, repository will be as the uh, same as other repositories so basically you need just to go to your repo so uh, when you go to your new repository, then we'll have a, a readme. The readme, it will be by default is empty. For example, this one has my content. So basically, it will be empty like this, or at least it will be just has your uh, website name or your repository name. And uh, to start editing that readme, so you will start adding the similar content here. I'm going to show you, which I already just uh, copied. I will start by adding a hashtag, this one to your main title. So when hash, it will be for main title. And then you can add two or three for like uh, second uh, title or heading or third or fourth heading. And then you can just start adding your, adding your text and then adding a, a proper icon or related icon to your line or your description. I'm going also to show you where you can get this icon from. So basically this here, just I'm saying, you are welcome to my world, then just I'm giving a wave hand and also I'm introducing myself here. I'm saying I'm Muhammad Duena, I'm a software engineer, and then I'm adding another icons at the end. And the same here, just this next line, I'm saying I'm crazy about coding, problem solving and uh, collaboration, and also adding additional icons at the end. And the uh, fifth line, I like to create, build, and making new things. Uh, briefly, I like discovering new useful things and adding additional icon. And also, next line, uh, I also like uh, social gathering, meet new friends, watching films, football, and go to gym, and then adding uh, something related to gym, for example, or adding uh, some things that in my free time. Before last line, also I'm mentioning here, just feel free to get in touch with me and adding uh, like a hand call. And just at the end of this page, I'm adding like uh, this text or heading to follow me on social media uh, accounts. So as I mentioned here, and to add your uh, social media accounts, so basically you can add a uh, uh, anchor tag, uh, H normal HTML anchor tag. So with the uh, uh, href, uh, that should be redirect to your social account. And uh, also you can add an icon basically to make it stand out. Basically, for example, this icon here, I created uh, and I added to my GitHub, uh, one of my GitHub repository. So to make sure this image is always available, I'm going to make another video and I will add a, a 
the video URL at bottom of this video if you would like to know how to upload your file or images uh, to GitHub and then use them in your website or any resources that you would like. So that will help you to make sure this image is always available. So as the same, for example, this one for uh, YouTube and the next one for LinkedIn, my uh, LinkedIn account, and the third one for Facebook account, and this Twitter also a Twitter account. Uh, I will be really uh, grateful if you just follow me on this social account and then you'll get in touch with me and you will follow all the updates and the things that I do and you'll enjoy that one. So then after adding this, after adding this all lines and to see the preview before commit, so basically you can press this preview, it will show you how it looks like after adding all of this. So this is the icons on end of each line and also on the button. This is the image will represent my social account. So for example, if you press this YouTube account, so it will take you to my uh, YouTube account. So or my YouTube channel and the same as other links. For example, just again, you can press preview. If we go to LinkedIn. So this is my LinkedIn account. So if you would like to follow me, you can, can go and make request. I will be happy to add you to my networks. And uh, also here, the Facebook, for example, if you would like to follow me on Facebook, you can just press on that Facebook icon. It will take you to my Facebook account and just press like you will get notified with any new change. And same as the last uh, social icon, which is the Twitter account. So basically also you can follow me so you can uh, get the latest change and things that I do and uh, I will appreciate that. Now one. I will show you where you can get this icon from. Basically you can get many different icons that have been created by GitHub. So on this page here you can find many icons that have been created. You can search by name of the icons or a group of names. And also you can directly find uh, a specific icon here. Uh, it's your touch now. You can add your whatever you like from this icon. Uh, then also to get an icon, for example, for social media, I searched on Google. I found this uh, a free icon. So here, as you see, saying YouTube icons free download PNG and SVG. So just press this one. And then from this page, you can get an icon for your social accounts. So you can use it as your website like a static website basically you can add additional div for example and that div add a background to it you can uh, add your own touch add your personality so it's up to you i just gave you the key and then start add your things and try to stand out and uh, make people interact with you and interact with your content i hope that was useful and easy and if you are new to my channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and enable the build so to get all the change at the first time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.